So I've encountered a slight problem. Um, so I've made sure the microphone's working. I've literally not touched the microphone setup, so I don't know why it wasn't working before. Um, but there's a problem. The controller doesn't work. So I had tried, I had opened up the controller to, um, take it apart and clean the dust that was stuck underneath the X button, which is the reason why it was constantly sticking. That's actually fixed. It's no longer sticking. But the controller doesn't appear to be working anymore. My best guess is that I'm shorting something out now, which I can take it apart again and put back together, but that means not going to have a video using this method. Luckily, I'm just taking out the batteries. Um, luckily, the Lost Vikings doesn't actually use a save system. So I don't have to set up my PS2 as an FTP server or FTP things over, which would be really interesting to do without any controller whatsoever, because I don't have a replacement controller. I would have to borrow a controller from somebody. So instead, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. Um, unfortunately, there's probably going to be a small delay in the video. So this video is going to be me trying to replay through the section of Norse by Northwest that, well, kind of done goofed last time. And, oh, we can stop with the video capture at this point. Video capture be gone. And let's go ahead and unplug the video capture. Because I don't need it. There we go. I unplugged the camera. Good job, me! Let's plug the camera back in. That would be smart. I believe if I make it disappear and reappear, it comes back or not. It's not coming back, is it? Uh, so I can temporarily switch over to integrated camera. Hi. And then I think we can switch back. Does that work? That works, yay. Okay. As I was trying to do before I so rudely interrupted myself, unplug the video capture device. Sorry, I'm running this off of my laptop. Here, you could take a look to see. I'm running this off of my laptop. My laptop has two USB-A ports, and I had three devices plugged in. That doesn't work, by the way. Uh, so I'm actually using a USB-C hub, which is fine and dandy. I have one, but it kind of means everything's hanging off of the table right now. So, got that out, and then I am going to plug this into here. Move my Xbone controller, which I'll be using for this video. One moment. I need to unplug a couple of things over here. Also, I might as well turn off the Frame Meister and PS2. On the plus side, this will be a lot quieter because that PS2 is constantly running. And then the piece de resistance plug into TV. My HDMI cord is in fact long enough to reach halfway across the room. All right, TV is now mirroring. I don't want it to mirror. I want to switch to presentation mode. Extend, please. Thank you. There we go. And I'm going to move RetroArch over. And we're going to do this through RetroArch. I just need to relaunch it because I plugged in. I plugged in the controller after I launched RetroArch. And Windows doesn't like it when you plug a controller in after the fact. Okay. Then we're going to have OBS. Talk to it. Uh, eyeballing it, things look off. Do I have the correct screen resolution in place? I have so many things running on my laptop right now. My laptop is not exactly a gaming laptop. It's an ultrabook. Um, oh, yep, that's why it's scaling. Why the hell are you scaling? No. Bad windows, bad. All right, 
So finally, we need to tell OBS to capture the window. Now, I'm going to try to keep the same aspect ratio I did before, so everything looks the same. Do, 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 do. Game bar, I don't care about that. I want retro arc. Retro arc. Retro arc? Retro arc! Obviously, this is in ultra wide right now. I'm going to temporarily shrink that. And let's actually load up the core, load content. Oh boy, this is going to be obnoxious. So my content is on uh, network share. I don't use RetroArc very often, by the way. So that's part of the reason why I'm not sure how to do this. Configuration? Can I edit? Can that would be nice. Configuration. Uh, That's not what I'm looking for. Screen resolution is, in fact, 1080p in this case. Oops, too far. 1920 by 1080. Why is there like three of them? Okay. Why did it change the screen resolution of? I do not like RetroArc. Nope. No, sir. Don't like it. Maybe I'll just reinstall EPSXE. Because, I mean, it changed the screen resolution of a monitor it wasn't even on. That makes even less sense. <sighs> One moment. Sorry for all the glitches because my laptop's, again, an ultrabook. Okay file load content just give me the standard file menu uh, do, do, do. all right and load question mark retro work just crashed Okay, cool, cool. Also, my webcam is down to like a frame every three seconds. This is excellent. This is the type of quality content you get by watching my channel. There we go. No, it's actually working. It's just uh, PlayStation BIOS not found. I have it. I just haven't configured it. Heck, technically, I have the PlayStation BIOS I've ripped from my own PlayStation. Uh, that'd be PS2, not PS1. Okay. Are you going to load the game? Ever? Or not? Not loading the game? I guess that is an option. Uh, reset? Menu? Menu, okay. Um, well, I do want to have actual shaders on. Oh, wow, this has way more shaders than I was remembering. Uh, I prefer Sal. We want 4X Sal. Apply changes. Boo Kenny, no nomming my food. No. <sighs> Boo Kitty's right there. I have a bowl that had my food in it, which is now needing to be moved. Otherwise, Boo Kitty will try to eat it. Uh, again, this is going great. Once more, excellent content. You can see like a corner of the window, and that's it. Why can you only see a corner of the window? Oh, because it's being dumb. There we go. We're going to do that for now. I will resize it in a moment. Okay. Um, 
Disk image management? Nope, not what I need. Latency is not what I want. Options, use BIOS. Where do I put the BIOS? And uh, I haven't actually had to touch this on a real PC. I have this already set up elsewhere. Dang it. Why did I do this from my laptop? Oh, right, because I was doing everything at once. Resume. Paused. Why are you paused? Pause dog. You know, how long this is taking me, it would be faster for me to just grab BPSXE. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. Once more, high quality video content. Um, 5x scale, please. 5x scale is a little too big. How about 4x scale? 4x scale looks better. Shrink. Move it back. Okay, it still says that it's paused. That's good. Okay, maybe I just need to copy in bio somewhere. Let me go take a look to see where that might be at. Because RetroArch installs itself to a stupid location. Um, that was app data roaming. RetroArch. Boo kitty, stop trying to eat food. Um, all right, now the fun part. Where the heck does RetroArt put its BIOS? These are all things that I should be able to just look up online, aren't they? Okay, where do you go? I have them. I have lots of BIOS. Where do they go? All into system. System. Oh, it just goes in a folder called BIOS. Just the, the folder doesn't exist. Yay! Um, oh no, that's just temporary. Erg. Screw it. That's where you're going. Now, where in the world did I put my BIOS? See, this is why I try to do prep before my videos instead of during them. I'm being smart. Um, easiest way to do this. Um, aha, there it is. Bios images. Copy. A paste. And in fact, I'll also put you into BIOS just for fun. Oh, does my camera get wonky when I paste things in? Because for some reason this camera seems to get wonky whenever I do any type of um, network file transfer. No, nope, didn't get wonky this time. Might be just too small. It might not care. Yay for not caring! Okay, let's try this again. 
I'm going to close RetroArch, reopen, because the window search is terrible. All right, it's on the wrong screen, so I need to move it over so I have any chance of seeing it. Load core, PlayStation. File, load content. Norse by Norse West. It disappears, it sits there for a while, then reappears. Right. Right. Oh yeah, that's right. This is where the camera gets wonky because I think it's just redlining my CPU. My apologies for the lovely slideshow. All right, you should have every BIOS on the planet. All of them. Yay, I don't have audio. Oh, it's probably because I'm not recording audio, isn't it? Oops. As I unplug my headphones. All right. How do I get audio? Let's find out, shall we? Audio options. Well, no, it was definitely not muted. I'm going to hit option so it doesn't go off into demo mode. I mean, it's obvious that I'm the only one being able to hear anything. Unmute. Um, Windows audio, what are you doing? Oh, nope, this is my own doing. So hopefully this doesn't get super loud. USB. Nope, I still don't hear anything, and neither does OBS. Okay. The audio was set for playing in the wrong direction. Or on the wrong device. Alright. Volume mixer. Do I have audio on anything? Is I even trying to output audio? Okay. Um, switch this over to Samsung, and yeah, it's trying to output audio to the wrong device. And it's not even doing a good job at it. Yep, it is trying to output audio to my TV instead of to what I wanted to record. Okay, that just means I need to close and reopen it. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to fix this. So this is the aspect ratio that things want to be in. But uh, I need to transform... edit transform I don't want it to crop I want it to no longer uh, size Here, easiest way to do this is to cut it off briefly we okay then properties oh, that's not what I told you to do Ugh silly thing. Transform. Edit transform. Okay. 144 or er, 1444 minus 146 pixels. It's 1298. There we go. Now it is the same dimensions as it was on the PS2, which should be nice. Um, emulation's paused right now, so there won't be any audio. I'm going to need to close and reopen RetroArch for it to use the correct audio device. So that's what I'm going to do now. So once more, we're going to have the weird slowdown for absolutely no reason because, I don't know, because it hates me. All right, load core, load content. You can't even see the load content window right now. That's fine. It's embarrassing how many PS1 games I have ripped. And now it's the slowdown time. Oh no, slowdown, nice. Maybe it will just work. 
Audio. Audio. I have audio. Also, I have this capturing the mouse cursor for some reason. I should fix that. Properties. Uncheck capture cursor. Okay. And it restretched every. Why did you restretch? Why did you change what you were capturing? Why is any of this happening? Retroarch. There. <sighs> so, 20 minutes into the video, I'm finally loading the game up again. Oh yeah, I should probably have checked to see what level I was on. I did that before I started, but that's when I found out my controller wasn't working. Alright, let me double check to see what um, level I'm currently on. I have it written in the video description, at least. Which you will probably hear the video description. No, I'm running Firefox. It actually doesn't have auto-playing video anymore, which is awesome. Although it might only be if I open up a new tab. Yes, Bukini, you are cute. All right, open my own channel. Because this is the way I have to do things. It's probably going to play audio anyway. Okay. All right. We need to redo levels 16, 17, and 18, it looks like. So let me grab passwords. Because it's easier for me to just look this up online than to open up my own video, and that's fine. Here, look at Boo Kitty. Isn't she cute? Okay. Uh, 15. Yep. All right. Let's go back. Or 2T0, isn't it? P3SV is the one before. I know we had done this level already, but... Alright. We had done this level, right? Sorry. This is going to be the worst video. Um, previous tab. Now you'll probably hear the game. Because it decided not to pause this time. Assuming that my camera is even working, because it's not happy. Level 16. I'm actually having to look through the video after all. Oh well. I can't imagine this is working well for performance on the recording. I'm sorry, folks. Just not very organized today. Alright. R3TO, that's why. Okay. Now I have to also get used to new controls because controller, this has the D-pad here. No, do not retry level. R3TO, please. Minimize that so I can see. Ugh, that did not sound like fun. By gangs, bottom, bottom. Why did I go in that direction? I don't know. R three T zero. All right. Now we're back at this painful, painful level again. 
Lost all faith in teleporting. Oh, we could swim from ship to ship. But hold up. You can't swim. Maybe we can use him as a raft. All right. Hopefully this won't take anywhere near as long as it took me to do this to begin with. So, um, you can hear me. That's good. So, there were things that I screwed up before, and the thing- oops. I'm not even paying attention now. This is actually the object that I was missing the last time I was going through that you ac could actually hear what I was saying. I keep trying to use the analog stick. Also, this isn't running at 60 frames a second, is it? Nope, I am recording at 35 frames per second. Uh, do I want to fix this now? Should I just scrap everything that I'm doing? Nope. This is one screwed up video. We're just going to stick with the screw up. I will fix it for the next video. I'm sorry. Ah, this is looking great for Vita, let me tell you. So, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm a bit tired from work. It's um, 2111 right now here. So, it's been a long day in every potential sense of that phrase. There we go. Right, hang over, move over, fall. Miss the jellyfish. If only I can hit both the jellyfish and the stupid pirate captain. Because that's the reason for the thingy in my mind. Now I can just bash that at will without taking damage. And you actually need to go back over through the jellyfish again. Which are now dead. That's a glitch. Okay. Whatever. Oh, that's right. I actually need Olaf first. It's been a couple of days for me. Yesterday was my role-playing day, so I wasn't planning on doing any of this yesterday. So I didn't. Role-playing went okay, I suppose. Oh, go. Launch. Climb. Move over. Climb back around. That, that was dumb of me. not used to using this controller for this game. Alright, are you serious? I thought I landed right on that. This is totally a blooper video, isn't it? Anyway, fart over here, Olaf. Swing up to the ladder. Oops. Oh, diagonals are painful on an Xbox D-pad, aren't they? Wait. Why am I not going up direction anymore? I, I, I'm hitting up. Of course, now it does it while I'm showing the audience. <sighs> I'm not normally this bad.
It's the up button. This is going to be really hard to do if I can't actually hit the up arrow. See? It sort of worked and then stopped. I wonder if I can tell Retro Arc to I'm holding up. Okay, yep, this is not going to be very playable. Let's continue. Yes, Boo Kitty, I'm being dumb. Put to there. Need Bailey Hog now. Which. This is going to be hell. I need to hit a diagonal. Alright, is there a way for me to. Let's see. Menu toggle. First off. But we're saving a state here. Okay. Menu toggle. Controls. Controls. User device type. Retro pad with analog. Okay. Yes, map the left analog stick to digital. Okay. In theory, this should work. Let's find out if that worked. Oops. Resume. Oh, so much better. I can hit diagonals. I mean, it may not help my game playing skills, but I have a chance. Oh, this is so much better. I take back some of the things I've said about you, Retro Arc, but only some of them. I'm not trying to match pitch, by the way. I, I think I saw somebody asking me that at one point, and no, I'm not trying to. I'm... My hearing is not so great in general, so I don't try to match pitch. It's not a thing for me. I can match it in my head, but I can't really match it elsewhere. Punched in the face three times. Three is always a magic number. And then you're gonna wait for Eric, who's been patiently waiting on that elevator for her a long time. Oh, this is so much easier to control with an analog stick. Why, why was I playing this Unreal hardware? So much easier. I was hitting up. I might not have been. Go. I believe it's Fart Master Olaf now. Oh, wait, wait. All done. Make sure the shield is up before I shrink. Now that I know that I don't need to screw that up. There we go. And that's it.
Okay. And we did it. <laughs> Hello, I know, I know. My sister told me where to send, send you. you. you have any problems? Just, just, just find my twin, twin sister, sister. All right. Sister. So you have a twin sister. Hmm. Now let's see if I can remember the rest of the levels. I'm just trying to catch us up to where I was. Hey, <sighs> drunk. This one did not okay. take me that long Show to do. Show of hands. Who thought we were really going to the time machine? Off. I keep forgetting. For some reason, the captain can actually go through Olaf's shield, even though no other enemy in the game can do that. I don't understand. Okay. There's a lot of Eric levels in this segment. Could be worse. They could be Fang levels. Nothing is worse than Fang levels. Well, there is actually a couple of good Fang levels. There's one Fang level in particular that I don't remember the details on the level itself anymore, but it's Fang Scorch and Eric. So you have all three of the Jumpy Boys. That level is actually a lot of fun if I'm remembering right. Okay. Well, let's do our standard ram and everything possible. I think that might have actually been everything possible. Yeah. Okay. Move around. Oops. I'm trying to remember how this needed to be done. Oh yeah, I remember this now. You have to get on top of the loft shield, punch that up. Just remember folks, punch up, not down. I have people on the wrong sides. I think this actually is an Olaf section. But I think it might be all of them now that I'm thinking about this. There we go. So Olaf Shrunk can actually go across the bridge. And Olaf can walk across the rope bridge, but he can't pull himself up. Which is weird to me, but okay. So, he can climb back up, so I'm going to do that for now. I can always put him back down after all. that Eric needs to be a jumpy boy over here. Well, he also needs to go swimming, for one. Might as well get some beer. Oops. Did not need to jump up yet. I believe this one is key item. Yep. And then the other side's another beer, I want to say. Uh, well... Well, it's a good thing I grabbed that beer I just drank. Okay. I do not have a silver key yet. But now I can do that. Which will send him back into the depths. That's fine. Yep, I do need to walk across now with Olaf. Because he's got the things I need. That's right. This is the level that I found out that there's actually an extraneous bomb. 
I know what you're supposed to use it for, but you don't actually have to use it. And I found that one out the hard way, for reference. Ladder says that I should probably have you emptied it out before. Yeah. So yeah, that right there looked to me like I needed to use the bomb there. I can't use the bomb there. I actually need to go after that from a different angle. Which is not at all intuitive. Um, that is Baliog needs to punch it. And those are doors. So a jumpy boy is actually not necessary here right now. So I'm going to wait, go back ar and around, yep, so somebody needs to hold on to there, but Eric can ram that, go swimming again, then I can have Olaf go up and around, I'm not even filling the camera screen, sorry about that. So the bomb is supposed to be to blow up the cannon, I think. Yeah, it is. Yep, that's the problem. I need a jumpy boy. So I can, uh-oh. Oh, who? Oh. Oh, Yes, Boo. Boo's literally licking my arm. Uh, oh, Boo, Kini. Okay, you can stay there. That is safe. I can do this without blowing up the cannon, but... Oops. Let's just be safe. Okay, so I can walk across. There we go. Go back around. Open that up, which now means Baleo can come down here and actually go through here. And fruitlessly punch the stupid thing because they have horrible time on his attacks. Boy. Luckily, this level's almost done. I just need to time that. That's not that big of a deal. More beer. If I remember right, was actually useful over here. No, it wasn't. Okay. Scales. This was an area I also screwed up, because on the PS2, I couldn't see the ladder immediately beneath my feet. So that took me a while to figure out. I'm doing great, let me tell you. Alright, and then I'm going to set over here, because I want Olaf on this, shrink down, move over, grow up, fart. Yep. Oh, darn it, I messed that up. <laughs> mm. I did that last time too, actually. It doesn't matter too much. I meant to ram that first. Scales of do not matterness. Oh, screw it. I mean, the hag is right there after all. I heard about your little problem. Still haven't found your machine, right? Not yet. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> and it's shiny, shiny too. too. Huh? All right, then. Well, let me give it a try. Let's see if I can get the camera a little bit closer. I don't need advertisements in my field of view. I should probably have zoomed the camera and then zoomed it on my face. The problem is that I keep leaning forward occasionally. So, this is your. 
find Eric, the machine, or a gypsy, a tarot card, a crystal ball, a diamond. It's dark and we're wearing Mind armor. armor. Get it. So, let's start with the first obvious Olaf moves. Hashtag Olaf moves. Uh, send that up. Say that might have been everything I can do for now with Olaf. It's so much better to use Scorch when you have a analog stick because his movements are diagonal to begin with. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know what's with that bird because the bird is from off screen. And it doesn't drop anything either. I don't get it. Okay, so there's nothing up there. I'm gonna start falling. I couldn't get that last time for some reason. Hmm. Alright. The reason why we got that is so I can bomb that wall because we don't have an Eric. I don't think he's... yeah, I didn't think he was close enough. Alright, let's head down, and both of the boys need to go do their things. Either one of them could actually hit that one, by the way. Oh, that's right. That's why you needed to be up there. Because you actually need to fart your way across. Oops. Okay. Shrink. Throw, hit that, which last time I did this, I nearly hit Baleog with it. Okay. Scorch can handle everything because Scorch is a way better character than Baleog. See? I don't even need Baleog. Why do I even have him? He's useful for swinging. That's it. I forgot to fart while I was up there. Okay, time to walk back. I decided I was going to do this one replaying rather than give commentary just because it's an hour long. And I didn't want to do commentary for the full hour. Not to mention, I didn't remember what I had said. And this is a puzzle game. There's a lot of repetition. Oops again. So, yeah. Unfortunately, with this angle, you can't see Boo Kitty. What a shame. See? There's a Boo Kitty right there. Ah! As I knock over the camera. <laughs> this is totally the video of bloopers, isn't it? Now it's all tilted and stuff. Alright. That'll have to do. It's mostly straight now. Okay. We've got more Scorch. That stupid pirate captain of stupidity. So we have to be careful. Because Scorch falls slow. Darn it. Whew. Got it. Okay. That didn't help me at all. Olaf has the bomb in his inventory and I didn't notice. Oh well. Continue to slow. Ooh, six frames per second. What in the world's my computer doing? Hold on. Pause that. What are you doing, computer? What are you doing? Hey. You are doing a whole lot of nothing. It's OBS. It's OBS can't handle 
running this at the same time as... Give me a moment, I'm just closing a lot of things right now. Let's close Chrome and Firefox. Darn it, stop trying to switch back to that. I... So I thought this would be a nice and quick video, but turns out it's going to be the full hour long anyway, but you get to watch lots of bloopers. So, you know, nice. All right, are you less dumb now? There we go. That's a little bit better. This is the part that I needed Scorch for, was to fly up and get the... That's right, I need to balance on top of his shield to jump up high enough. Send that down. Don't bomb on that side because I would just get hit by it. And let's be honest, I've taken enough damage on poor Scorch already. Bart. Line. Swing because they insist that Baleog is actually useful for something. how when Olaf shrinks, his weight doesn't go down. Conservation of mass. I'm a fan. Okay. This is the part I need to remember exactly how it works. I believe I need to do it this way. It took me a few tries last time. Okay. Then way down twice. Moving up. Sit there. Yep, this was the way I needed to do it. I remember. Yay, I didn't mess up. Hooray. Okay, sit there. Scorch. Might as well use the bouncing thing because I can. Let's not die. That would be bad. Baleog needs to leap over. Once more with the punch up. Just trying to figure out how to get it those structure chest. I think it might just be going to the other side. Yeah, it is. No, do not bounce, please. Don't take even more damage if you can help it. Alright, yeah, there's a stairwell right there. Alright, so first thing. Bart, drop, float down, like a majestic Olaf. In fact, let's all float down like a majestic Olaf. Yeah, it's easier for Paleog. Okay. When in doubt, float like a majestic Olaf. This was the correct choice. This time. Make some chicken. Fall down, bring that up. I can survive the fall because springboard. Go down. Oh, 
Oh, no. That was a mistake. I meant to do this. Okay. I mean, I could have just left him alone. I didn't really need it, but... It's a little faster timing than I'm used to. Okay. Pirates. I really don't understand the music on this. It's just like, we'll do random sea shanties and then pirates. I am so sorry that you have not yet found your machine. Uh, nice so you can use it to cast the See, even Olaf is catching right? it at this point. Of course, of course. Was this the level that I stopped at before? No. I did actually finish the hey, Fang guys. level. Oh, it's about time Oy, you showed up. I was starting to wonder if you were okay, you know? Don't worry, possum. We're all big boys now. Some bigger than others. We move. Five meters spread. No, no sound. sound. That's right. I remember how nasty and annoying this level is. Because it assumes that Fang isn't worthless. This is a mistake. Right. On the head, float down, Baliog, land on top, punch. Go like that, punch, punch, punch. Alright. Actually, it was Baliog most of the way down. Handle that. Take, oh, that's right, I didn't really need that one. In fact, actually, Baliog needs to stay here. Meow, meow. Olaf, you're going to shrink down, embiggen, fart your way across, land, fart again, land, grab that, fart your way a third time. Stand there. Alright, now Baliog goes over to here, swings across, and mans this. Fang is going to go with, because I need somebody who can jump. Unfortunately, it's Fang. Alright, <sighs> flip the switch. This switch actually works. Unlike the previous buggy switch. Bomb that so I can get through because we're missing out. Give that to Fang because he's going to potentially take a lot of damage doing this. Because of that stupid pirate captain that I can't dodge as easily. Well, it's a little easier with the analog stick at least. Oh right, I actually need to follow it down unfortunately. There we go. Now the fun part. I have to defeat this thing with Fang. Sometimes I can get lucky. Other times, it gets into this pattern. Jumping's the only way to handle it, in my mind. Alright. Patented. Move elevator down and fart. Move elevator back up. That is for Baliog. It needs to go up there. This is the last level, by the way. So, once more, this will run late. Although, strangely enough, probably not as late as when I did this to begin with. This was a very long video. For obvious reasons. Alright, you need to go there. You can climb down. 
Make sure Olaf is there. I'm up here. This is the one I had to redo because I used the bomb in the wrong spot. And made it impossible for myself. There's very few of these that are actually impossible if you screw up like that. But this is, in fact, one of them. Okay. Then I need to stand here. Move you down. Move over. Stand there. Run. Get that. Wait for the next fire. Zoom across. Oh, dang it, I mistimed it by that much. Fart up, release the rope. Use Fang, because this game really wants, eh, this level really wants you to use Fang, unfortunately. Baleog can't get over here, right? This is why I gave Fang the shield, because his hitbox is, I swear, random. That's my only explanation. Oh, nope, nope, that was a bad idea. I remember that area now. Okay, we're going back down again. Yep, this area. This piece of garbage area. Okay. I'm really... You know what? Screw it. I'm actually going to make a... Uh, which one call it? A save state here. Because this area freaking sucks. Because a slight mistiming on placement and you're dead. Like that. That's why it's like, I don't want to read through this. This is my second time doing this. So yeah, that's what I needed to do. Fang can push. Which that will block off the spikes. So I need to move you back. You're just gonna move back. Yeah, that's the problem, is that Olaf pretty much always has to take damage. Which is dumb to me. There's probably a way to avoid it somehow, but not really a great way of doing so. Anyway, if I can get back here, I need to give you the bomb. Here. There. Now I can go across here. This is where you have to set the bomb. Otherwise, you mess up all the things. Because, yep, that's where another bomb is, except you don't actually have to use that one. So you just climb back. I don't understand why they added the other bomb there. Okay. Fang now has this key. Which is useful for somebody. Uh, this is the way that Baleog has to go through. Olaf and Fang can actually go up above, but we're not going to have them go up above. Are you close enough? No. It just dawned on me that I actually want Olaf to have this bomb. Because since I don't have to use it in the normal spot, I'm going to use it in the spot that I want it in. Right, then Baleog weighs down Olaf. I did not mean to do that. Oh well, that'll work. I need to get Baleog up there anyway, so... Put it down first. Have Fang climb his way up to the elevator. Olaf way down that side. Now you can actually do things over here. Ugh. 
Alright. Now I just need to get Olaf back up to where he was. Because otherwise he can't actually get across. Like that. Alright, that one will work. Fang can get up either way. That one doesn't matter anywhere near as much. He is a jumpy boy, after all. But this is the one that I need up. Punch. Climb. Fall. Fall. Oop. Nope. I took damage. I did that flawlessly that last time. Oh. It's usually easier to do it this way anyway. Alright. Fang, get your butt over here. Seriously. I'm just getting impatient now. Sorry. Again, this is my second time doing this. Olaf is naturally the only one to make it. Here's what's gonna happen. You're going to send us to our machine. Yes. Yes. All right, yeah, yeah. We didn't mean anything by it, really. No hard feelings, all right? That used to be an obscure reference. Well, maybe not that obscure. More obscure than now. All right. And this is actually where I had left off last. By the way, there's been a secret in each of the passwords that you've seen in this video. It's a secret message. Do you know what it says? I'm going to end this here. In fact, I'm going to take a save state. And I will transfer that save state to a computer that can actually run this game properly. Um, and record at the same time. So... I hope you've enjoyed my uh, what's effectively a bunch of outtake video, and I will talk to you next time, Internet. Goodbye.